Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. As you can see that's a 170 second scale key which copies FH1 Phantom. And this particular boxing is named as a demonstration teams and trainers, so it is easy to guess which marking will be included into this kit and now we have a chance to check it in our video review. Let me remind you that we are getting money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy and it's safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide how much we will get from you and all the money we gather they will be used for the new photo and video equipment for our video and photo reviews. As for this kit, as you can see it comes in this uh, quite average sized box, here you can see comparison with my hand. We have this nice beautiful box art on the front and then on the sides we have typical information about the kit that it's limited edition and it's also made in Czech Republic. Now we can move on to uh, bonuses which are hidden inside. I would like to start with decal sheet and P fret. Decal sheet is only one here. I will zoom in in a second so that you can see closer what is hidden here and which symbols we have on the decal sheet. So here it is. Let's try to focus on it and we'll take a look at the symbols. As I said before, there is only one decal sheet. And you can notice also here that it is printed in cartography in Italy. And printing quality is quite nice, I think. Um, application should be easy as well. And we have here all necessary symbols for several marking options which are featured in this kit. We'll see them later in assembly manual. Then we have this small P thread. Of course, it is not painted. And we have here various parts for external detailing. And also note that manufacturer included seat belts, which should come handy for cockpit detailing on your model. Next we have, and by the way, decals are packed into the separate plastic bag, so you shouldn't be worried about possible damages to those nice symbols. Next we have this um, transparent sprue. As you can see here we have canopy parts and also some minor transparent elements which will be also used on this airplane. Now of course with those clear parts you should be able to replicate open cockpit on your model. So if you would like to expose cabin on your aircraft, it should be easy to do. The only thing you should remember is that masks are not included in this kit, so you should be you know, ready to cut masks with your own hands. Next we have grey plastic screws. Surprisingly there are only three frames in this kit. And here you can see the first one, which is dedicated to fuselage halves. I'll just place it on our cutting mat so that you can see it closer. So here it is, typical external detailing I would say, note that both halves are molded together with tail segment and we have here recessed panel lines, everything looks quite nice, note that no segment is molded together with fuselage halves, so you will have to be careful while joining them together, because otherwise you can end up with gaps in such visible area. Then here we have tail wings which are molded separately, they look quite nice. And here you can see special slots for their insertion. Here we have special pots, which should be placed under the fuselage, here. And let's flip over the sprue. Inside we have just a modest cockpit detailing. It should be enhanced with separate parts, of course, but note that we have position pins at least, which should help you with alignment. The same applies to this uh, separate section of the fuselage let's say belly of this aircraft. And molding quality looks fine, I don't see any possible problems, so I hope it will be easy to assemble too. Next we have second grey plastic sprue, here it is. This one is full of minor parts, so here you can see them closer. For example here we have winding gear wheels, winding gear legs, this is a cockpit part as far as I can guess. Here we have cockpit wall, back wall, which is molded together with headrest. Then we have here a simple dashboard, also some parts for the engine here. And even minor parts like those ones for landing gear, they are carefully molded. You don't see any flesh on them, so I really doubt that you have any problems with those parts. The only thing, be careful while separating them because it should be, it can be easy 
to destroy them or damage them while you cutting them off this sprue. Next we have here a third and last grey plastic sprue. This one as you can see is dedicated to wing parts. Wing parts are divided in typical scheme, so we have two top halves and one bottom. Note that flaps and ailerons are molded in so you won't be able to uh, retract them on your model. And then here we have separate sections for air intakes which were placed here on the wings. As you can see you will have to attach them. Well that's nice in my opinion because you won't be um, you won't have to think about possible gaps between those halves if air intakes were molded together with wing parts. So that's really nice. And as I said we have recessed panel lines for external detailing. Inside we have position pins as you can see here and here and here. And also on the top house we have detailing for wheel wells, for main wheel wells. So you can play with it, maybe apply some washes in order to get a nice appearance. Next we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in form of this nice brochure. It is printed in color. I will zoom out so that you can see them uh, pages closer. So here it is. We have two short history notes in Czech and English. Then we have parts map of course. Uh, assembly starts with cockpit. As you can see here we assemble dashboard, pilot seat, we apply P belts and then cockpit of course is installed inside the fuselage house. Note that the manufacturer also specified weight which will have to be inserted into the nose section of this aircraft so don't forget to put it or otherwise you will get a tail seater. Here we have also some uh, assembly steps of the engines. Here we assemble wing together with main wheel wells which should be glued out of separate panels. Here we install special uh, fewers, let's say, for nose gun sections. Here we also install nose landing gear together with landing gear doors. The same goes for the main landing gear now legs. And last step is application of this belly section, canopy, and of course tail wings. And note that we also have special parts, antennas, which are specific for particular marking options, so be careful and check what are you going to copy in the scale. Here you can see first marking option, which is finished in glossy sea blue. Then we have second and third. Those ones are a bit more colorful due to the yellow color on the fuselage. And here the fourth marking option, which is finished in unusual white color I would say together with right uh, with red accents also you can get resin wheels for this kit so if you would like to get a bit more detailing on your small phantom I would rather recommend to use it and here you can see stencil application guide then we have also some kits available in 170 second scale from the same manufacturer you can find their reviews on our YouTube channel so I definitely recommend to check them because those kits are really great and as you can see they come with huge choice of resin accessories again some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel and I think if you combine all those parts together you'll get a really nice propeller aircraft Warhawk or Kitty Hawk the same applies to Dornier 27 and Mirage Dornier 27 is the relatively new plastic we reviewed it before there is also a new box in coming uh, maybe there will be a review of it on YouTube channel when this review will be online so I recommend you to check it as well and on the last page we have also pictures of some previous kits and the 172nd scale there were even several helicopters as you can see and manufacturers various tools for modeling as well as pigments this should come handy and we have review of this saw handle on our YouTube channel I recommend to check it so that you know why this tool will be useful for us. As for the today's kit, it should be already available on official Special Hobby website. You can get it directly there, together with those kits which you just saw on the last pages of the assembly manual. In my opinion, this FH1 Phantom should be a really interesting kit for those who like um, jet aircrafts in civil markings. 
So no missiles, no extra armament, just a plain fuselage and clean wings. And of course price is quite reasonable, so I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!